Drum roll. It is time for our 12 days of Christmas cookies. So let's open the advent calendar. TJ, oh, you are doing that. Means, yep. oh, that means you. I tried to set you, you up to, to, to see it's what day kind of 10. cookies. I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cookies we're making this morning? We've got pecan. Do we say pecan? Pecan. We're going to be a debate here. Shortbread uh, cookies. Do that again uh -oh. <laughs> and to show us how to make them, we've got John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen joining us from his studio kitchen this morning. Hey there. Good morning. Hi. Well, good morning. Good morning. We are really excited about this one we've got our 12 days of cookies the theme this morning three french hens so how do you incorporate that theme and what ingredients are you using well three french hens love laying egg-shaped pecan shortbread cookies they're filled with all your favorite christmas spices and they have a healthy amount of dark rum in them as well oh this guy knows me doesn't he <laughs> uh all right my man so did we uh, did i hear pecan pecan we got to settle this now let's what are we going with i say pecan I say pecans. Pecan? <laughs> pecan? Okay, fine. I'll go with the group. We'll <laughs> stick with pecans. So we know we need pecans for this, uh, for this cookie, but what else do we need besides that and some liquor? <laughs> Give your pecans a good toast. That's important. Cream your butter and sugar. We have confectioner sugar, butter, flour, and your favorite Christmas spices, and yes, the rum, although you could use vanilla too. Okay, and so a lot of times people make mistakes when they're mixing in the flour into the dough. How do you make sure you don't use too much and mix in the correct amount? Right, if you pack flour into a measuring cup, you can get like 60% extra flour there. That's gonna give you a crumbly, unappetizing dessert. So either use a scale like I did, or fluff your flour and sprinkle it into your cup and then just wipe the top off. That'll give you a really accurate result for delicious cookies. That is a good tip. And I just took my first bite. They're oh, yeah. very right. rummy. They're very delicious. Um, you've got a good trick to keep the dough sort of in shape while you refrigerate it. That's right. So a lot of times the dough can kind of sag in the fridge while it's chilling. All we need to do is use a paper towel roll. Save mm -hmm. these, cut them down the middle, and then plop your dough inside, and it'll be nice and round on the bottom. So you can have a round cookie. Okay, that, now that's actually a really neat trick here. But once they come out of the oven, uh, finishing touches to make them look pretty when you present them. Okay, so once you do that, this is a blogger's secret. If you want a round cookie and it's a little misshapen, just take a circular cookie cutter and corral it in here with small motions like that. It'll get nice and puffed up and perfectly round too. Do that right after it's out of the oven. Well, these are delicious. delicious. The verdict? Well, yep, I'm in, 100%. TJ saving his till break. <laughs> John, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. You can thank get the you. recipe on our website at goodmorningamerica.com. And tomorrow we'll have Jocelyn Delk Adams sharing her cookie recipe. And coming up next, because you need to balance now that you've had the cookies, mm -hmm. we're going to tell you about some workouts to help you burn off these calories using your Christmas decorations. It's our holiday hit miss workout. Santa, tell me if he really cares. Sometimes you can lose your faith, you can lose your mind, lose your grip, get stripped of your pride, till you don't know how you're gonna stay alive. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.